that good, 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 all right, so this game recently just released. I think it was released like yesterday or maybe the day before yesterday. So, yeah, uh, welcome back to another video. It's Blazek, and today we're playing Zenkai. Uh, yes, Zenkai something. Now, this game, I mean, if you look at the animation right now, it's looking sick and all, but. Okay, so welcome to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys a guide how to play the game and all that jazz, because um, I don't think that I'll have a lot of time making videos on like how to do certain a lot of stuff because i got school and i won't be playing that much so i'm just gonna show you guys how to play the game and all that stuff um but if you just don't want to watch this this video to go i think okay why am i telling you to go on trailer no don't go on a trailer watch this video okay so um i'm gonna show you guys how to do almost like everything and the map around some places that i know to go around so um so it's a dragon ball game i've already i've already seen um so uh let's go okay so first when you start it's, this is your yeah i mean you'll start with the cat scene it's a good cat scene but the, the game won't feel like that the fighting is kind of mm, i feel like it's kind of strong i don't know like heavy it's kind of heavy my punches feels like they're heavy they're not lightweight they're not fast like in um uh final stand uh the uh flying does not feel as good as in uh fun as head but you know let's just let's just do it i mean let's go with the what we have right now so once you start you have your option to join your friend or just type their name here and then join them if they're playing a game or go to a private server you have to buy a game pass for that and that's a good thing because um you always you always must have private servers i mean i don't got one but if you want to grind and just get to a high level real quick and you don't want to be bothered but i suggest that you don't play in private server so that some other people can help you but you could go in a private server and just like uh fight with other people but i suggest that you just don't go to private server since you can like um so one thing is like you go and attack an enemy and then somebody else if they come and finish that enemy off you get credit so if you're in private server by yourself and you can't defeat an enemy yeah you will not it will take you a while to defeat them so once you click play you have options for a slot one slot two slot three and now you only have slot one open and um you can choose slot three you can choose to open them too but you have to pay robux and i don't know how much you gotta pay yeah you gotta pay 250 it's not that expensive hold on yeah it doesn't seem to be that expensive i mean some other game be like a thousand five hundred would you like to buy yeah 400 robux okay so you, it's 250 for extra slot all right so this is my character and now i just continue all right so once you will not start in this city you will start like in the city where chi chi is and then just go and talk to her i won't go back to where she is because you know i feel like it's far away and i don't want to go all the way back there the map is pretty big um the map is pretty big i'll have a link to the picture of the map in the description if y'all want to go and see the map so uh you will not start in this city uh you will start in the um in the forest you'll start in the forest where chi chi is and then you take a mission from her and then you go and fight some uh some wolves and then after that uh you just get out of that city let me go back to where she is okay so before we get back there so while we're going back there to the city where you will start um so first i mean not to the city ah oh, so this thing is down here huh okay so um so when you start just take the mission um if you press m that's the menu and then you got all your things over here you got party if you want to have friends so i can literally invite a friend right now and then you click on the invites but i don't want to invite him right now and then here are your stats helps infos and everything green are one-time quest blue daily quest orange trainer quest so there are there are some quests that you gotta like there is a village where you have to do all the quests first for you to before you are able to do the orange quest so 
so there are bosses around and there are npcs around so you will take a mission and then go and fight around so i don't know if they have added nemec or and all of those other um places so i chose to so you have three races in this game uh you have Majin, um you have Saiyan, and um you have um human so i choose to be a Majin because almost like every time that i play a dragon ball game i always be a saint so this time i chose to be a Majin for a change and i'm quite liking it they're pretty good i like the animations that they got okay so um on the menu as we were saying so here's the help if you need help uh so dragon balls will spawn every eight hours in game so you have to be in the game for eight hours sheesh Oof. tournaments with uh will be in every six hours hyperbolic time chamber will be available once a day and press z to key sense or scouter so if i press z i'll be able to see players around it will be like kind of it will be like bright kind of dark and then so i could sense players like that's a strong players over there all right so and other things uh transformation is g dodge is q i use i i don't even use that blocking key blast e blah 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 yeah let's go to inventory i haven't bought anything in the game i haven't went anywhere and bought anything because you know i kind of like my suit i'm kind of i kind of like what i'm wearing right now and um so for you to get skills you kind of gotta come to the shop and you have you need to have the uh level requirements and then click on it and then you need to have the zany which is down here which will show up down here um all right and then here's your transformations so if you're a saint you will like start over here like ascended saint and then go down to super saiyan yeah so for saiyans you start uh super saiyan uh, ascended saiyan and then super saiyan 2 and then um so for super saiyan 2 you will okay so all the okay i'm gonna do a lot of stuff in this game i expect it okay so for super saiyans first you become a super saiyan and you will need to be on level 50 for you to get that and you have like buffs in melee damage key damage melee resistance key resistance and agility and it doesn't give you any max health or max uh key and now I send it saying um you have buffs in melee damage, key damage, melee resistance, key resistance, 70, uh 70, 70, and then 20 in agility, and you will need to be on level 65. Uh super saiyan to uh you will need to be on level 100 and you need to have mastery. So you need to get mastery required. So you need to have a mastery level for you to be able to get um super saiyan. I mean to be for you to be able to get the um ascended super saiyan super saiyan 2 super saiyan 3 so you need you need to have mastery now for you to check your mastery just gotta go down here to stats and then your mastery will be down here so i'm on mastery level one so it's like i'll get my mods i mean i'll open my mode i mean get my mode and then i'll start um fighting with my mode and i'll start getting mastery up and up and up the more missions and the more quests that i'm doing and yeah so for the mechans it's kind of the same but for y'all sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. so for naming the mechan you need to be on uh mastery uh level 20 and i mean mastery 20 and level tw uh, 70. so it's like so it seems like for the mechan as you fight your mastery level is just goes up you don't have to open the first mode first and for my jeans we don't need our uh, mastery requirements so all we need is 40 i mean level 40 and then melee damage 35 key damage 35 uh melee resistance 35 okay we good my jeans is the best hey oh we don't we don't even need bro my jeans is the best imagine is the best race at the moment my jeans is the best race like from just the start the only problem is that the ultimate imagine yes it's the best race actually it's the best race it's like you don't get to you don't need to get uh a lot of masteries you don't even need masteries for almost all of the two uh modes so i say mastery i mean imagine it's the best uh and then for humans level 30 you will get human how many race you will get kaioken and kaioken 
times 40 at level 60 with requirements of mastery of 20 uh kaioken times 20 on level 100 mastery 50 uh mystic uh level 160 mastery 100 damn so humans and sins have like the grind like it's way too grind for human and sins so yeah that's the uh masteries that's the buffs of the um modes and stuff that would that are in the game i'll showcase them later if i will ever get to the levels okay so here are your keys this is where you buy all the keys and then here the mail is uh yeah so uh so for the controls for you to fly you need to hold m i mean that space so it's like uh so double double uh, double space and then goes up in the air and then there you're flying and to just fly you move to move forward you use west plus um uh shift and then now for you to go full speed double space i mean double w plus shift and then you move fast faster i guess and q is to dodge plus uh what is it dash and f is to block and r are, are, are your moves r is uh, one of your move sets and e is just key blast everybody have these so when you start don't worry you don't gotta equip it it's already there um all right so let's go i want to go back to where i was and c is to recharge and now margins this is how we recharge all right so let me go back to the village where everybody starts because i want to uh show y'all a beginner's guide now we have codes in the game too so if you press c i mean m and then no nah, i saw it somewhere over here oh no so if you press j uh my bad so if you press j that's where the settings are so this not a lot of people will know about this because you know they don't check the trailer but when you press j like it's up here so here's where you could put on fast mode if you have a bad trash pc like mine put on fast mode if you don't want camera shakes over here zapping field over here the music off over here and and then you can enter code over here so this is where you enter the codes and they had a code which expired and now we have a new code which is uh free money I guess free money code redeemed and i don't know how much it gave me uh i think it gave me like about 5k well thank you <laughs> okay so let's go uh let's go back to the village where i came from I, i'm pretty sure it was this way but the way you don't need to buy a scouter like in the other dragon ball game you don't gotta buy a scouter so that's a good thing So I need to get out of here. Like I think it was this way. So I could go and show you guys where you could start in a level cap if I could. I mean, I'm not on a high level yet, so So if y'all do not know why what well, most of the um stats means, so uh, your max health increases your total health pool allowing you to take more hits. Uh max key increases your total key pool which is your C, which is the blue one, the blue, the one that's moving. Uh, you could use more move if you have more in key. Melee damage, increase your damage for M1, M2, and all your melee skills. Key damage, increase your damage for uh, all kill skills, key skills like any blasts. Bruh, I can't speak today. Melee resistance, um, reduce damage taken from melee. So if you're fighting a person who's uh doing m1s or using any melee attacks it will not do a lot of damage um key resistance is um any blast won't do a lot of damage on you they will do damage but not a lot of damage and agility increases your melee speed m1 speed so when you're fighting that's a really good thing not it doesn't only just increase your speed for overall speed uh for just running and stuff but it also increases your speed for when you're fighting so if like if you're starting a fight and if you have a lot in agility you'll be the first one to land your punch so that's a good thing and max health is not increased when you enter a firm 
those forms do not directly increase increase uh, increase your health pool so that's why i told you guys to focus mostly on the um on your health because when you enter into your mode it does not give you that like your modes none of your modes give you uh health so you got to put in more health so that i mean you can have resistance but if you don't have a lot of health you eventually get killed easily so yeah that's why i suggest that's the best way that's for the um uh what is it <laughs> stats guides and uh you come here here are your stats so i'm gonna tell you guys oh yeah so for me right now i feel like melee damage and he health <laughs> melee damage health and key those are the ones that you should pay attention most attention to and of course don't forget uh key damage but those are like the most one because you'll be you'll pretty much be fighting um you'll be fighting and using your i don't know fist you'll be fighting in melee most of the time so yeah so just put that because you know that's extra damage sometimes these garlic guns misses and all that stuff but when you're fighting when you're throwing them hands you can't miss so yeah put some stats in there uh hey everybody it's darius hey darius <laughs> Yo. Oh yeah, so this is where you will start. Uh you start to take a mission from her and then you go like this way. Uh, and then you go like this way <laughs> over there. I think there should be some moves over there. And then once you're done with this one, um you should come back like I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'd be like <laughs> uh somewhere by here, come on, I'm lost again. Bro, I can I cannot stand. like you need a you need a map on this game. All right, so and then you come to this place over here. Uh, so you come to this village over here, and then you start with this mission over here. Do this this mission, then do that mission, and then do that mission. Do this mission, and then you come and do this mission because uh, you have to do all of these missions first, finish all of them. They're quite easy if you play with the other people. Or if you pray, if you play in a server where there are people, and then and then you come talk to this dude, and then this dude will tell you to go to Kame House, helping out your really blah blah blah. So he will tell you to go to um, Kami, uh, which to go to the turtle teacher, whatever his name is. Uh, so you be from this place, uh, and then you go to the Kame House, which seems like. It, it will be toward the beach so just go where the beach is okay so there's the beach so just go to this to that house down there and then it'll be an easy mission and then after going to this kame house just so after you finish the mission talk it talk to kame again kami again and then he will tell you to go to boma and then go to boma and then that would be another uh free exp to get and i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure they give you money but i don't remember when i'm playing the game oh so you're already back you're pretty fast kid all right <laughs> so why did she say uh she said no oh well you see me pretty bright so i'll take you under my wings for now oh uh there's a couple of suspicious looking martyr, uh martial artists destroying nearby islands recently and got defeated with him okay so once you talk to him and then you go to Bulma. And then Bulma, and then you get that, you get EXP from that. And then Bulma will tell you to come back to this Yami again. And then Yami now is gonna give you this mission to go and do over here. But I did not do, it. I didn't, I didn't do it like that. Cause um, I started that, and then I go to another. I mean, in the city, I went and do some missions in the city, and then defeated some bosses. And that gave me like really quick um levels. Like I got, I got, I started the game to like uh yesterday. Get got up to level twenty four, and then got to level 30 i mean level 21 or something like that and then got to level 30 over here so now i got like more moves so this is how the game looks like and now it feels like and then coming up oh i didn't get missed <laughs> it's pretty good i like it like that oh the um npcs are not that dumb i'm not dumb actually yeah they are not dumb they are not stupid or dummy they are not none of those you dumb so let's get back there up here um so let me okay okay so these are some new moves that i got that i got 
okay uh break it down okay oh then get missed missed okay so there he's done so there's an easy way that i could fight these people i mean i could just use my garlic guns and kamehameha like their their range is really 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 far long so i would be like from back here i'm pretty sure like from here i could get them mm. yeah like from all the way from here i could get them and then when they're kind of like moving forward me uh toward me i'll just use another attack that will then move them back again um push them back use that so I was just spamming all my attacks. <laughs> so I was just spamming all my attacks. So if you learn, if you're learning from me, you're gonna be a spammer, huh? Bruh. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's go there and just get killed. You know, you know what I'm saying. I just want to see how much I did, how much damage I did. Ah, uh, I push. Oh, ah, uh, he's already dead. I mean, he's almost dying. So that that's how good that's how good that strategy is so if you just focus i mean if you just if you don't want to die if you don't want to fight just get kamehameha it's like you get it like when you're on level eight or something i don't remember uh i think when you're on level 12 that's when you get uh kamehameha so just get kamehameha and then just or and then after that get garlic gun and just start shooting at them there we go and then uh like that so the good thing about almost all the moves is that they're doing pushback damage i mean pushback so that's a good thing since it's like if you make a distance between you uh between you and the npcs they won't be coming to you since you're not that close to them so that's a good uh garlic gun it's pretty much my strongest one it's pretty it's my strongest one at the moment and I like that since it's thank you. Release. <laughs> Release. And bruh, this is just stupid. This is just stupid. I think I think it's near me. <laughs> thank you, Miss. Uh okay. Pirage ball. Okay. Now let's fight. Dang it. Dang it, please. No. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> all right and then from level 30 and now we're on level 31 then i gotta do some more damn i mean some more missions that could give me more exp because that i don't think that i could do these missions now okay so uh that's the end of this video guys so if y'all enjoyed it make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up uh, i haven't said i know what but make sure to leave a like i'll appreciate it and do help me out a lot and um yeah i'm uh, i'm sure i'm pretty sure i'm gonna see y'all in the next video as always stay blaze peace out i'm out of here man